the creation bit. How how can you destroy the well, universe? You're not, how, explaining, how you're not, you're not universe? explaining anything, so I'm not even going to bother with that. You're not. Wait, where, where did you explain something? You didn't explain anything. You just say stupid things like, "What about the life that isn't torturing?" Well, who cares? But but that's your point, though. You you say that it doesn't apply to shit that doesn't have sentience. But then it the does because then it does. You can't get sense. more That's irrelevant. Sense. Once something isn't feeling anymore, there's no relevance. Once something doesn't affect a feeling thing, it is completely irrelevant. All things that cannot reach the the tip of a something's penis um, is irrelevant. Okay, if it can't make you feel, it is irrelevant. What I'm trying to explain is, we come from things that do not feel, yet we have the capacity to do so. We don't come so why from would, them. So why would okay, so again, that's just stupid. Alright, we evolved. We're made from things that don't feel. Cells don't feel anything. We do. Because of cells. Because no, of and, cells we, and we completely understand the energy. distinction between those two things. Right, one is a collection of a hundred billion cells and one is not. Duh. Things that are a hundred billion, made of a hundred billion parts are probably different than the thing that doesn't have a hundred billion parts. So that's the entire point. So our existence as sentient beings is one of the billion parts of the universe, right? Well, it's, I'm still, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make comparisons, okay? A screw a you car can have a, a five. A car can have 500 bolts in it, right? Well, guess what? Bolts aren't cars. Yeah, but we're not talking about bolts and cars. We're talking about replication of DNA and everything. Again, that's, again, that's, that's your that's qualification. I've already pointed it out. Who cares about whether it's a DNA molecule? Who cares whether it's alive by some technical definition? Again, the argument is about sentient life. Sentience creates value in the universe. There's no value without one. Period. So again, this, this bullshit about where did the first little replicating machine come from is irrelevant. It's not that it's not relevant, it's the fact that what I'm trying to explain is you're saying it's sentient. And what I'm saying is, well, shouldn't we just eradicate the, the, the stuff that isn't as well? Um, can't we well, stop with that stuff? Plan. And that's well, that's anyway. the plan, that's, that's the plan, idiot. The point is, is it's one DNA molecule replicating created this whole mess, so yeah, you just undo the mess. You just undo the mistake nature made by creating um, <coughs> pointlessly competitive um, Xerox machines. Xerox war. Why would I just sit there and let the Xerox war machines go at each other for four billion years? Why would I bother doing that? That would be stupid. It's not going to accomplish anything. They can't do anything. They won't accomplish anything. They're just going to beat the shit out of each other year after 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 year year for nothing. So yeah, you blow the whole thing. The hell, you fuck the planet with a dildo moon. Why not? It's got okay. Now, hold on, don't bring God into it because we're both atheists so we don't want to know about God. What we're trying to do is talk about practical ways to either destroy life itself or why. Well, why would I waste my time, and, with, that why I waste my time with that conversation? Why would I waste my time with that conversation? I've sort of, in a joking manner, explained that there's, there's literally like millions of ways you can deconstruct, okay, planet Earth. You can sanitize this little piece of space. There are lots and lots and lots of ways to cause chemical reactions that will sanitize this planet. Yeah, I okay, I do get that point. But what I, you see, the thing that I like to point out is the universe created 
whatever this thing is we call life. So, I mean, how how do we not care that it pops up? Yeah, I've already made the argument. The universe created diamonds, and they're also irrelevant. They're special, but they're irrelevant. Okay, and so are emeralds, and so are rubies. And so are all the little physical phenomenons that happen that are different than the other physical phenomenons. Yes, the replicating cell is different than the rock, but that doesn't mean it's special. It doesn't matter it's doing something better than rocks. No, it just means that it has a, 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 a consequence. And the consequence of reproduction is gladiator wars and waste. Rocks aren't wasting suffering, okay? Living things waste suffering. Okay, so we waste suffering, but my point still stands is, uh, uh, why would the universe create something that create wastes, something. that goes against irrelevant, the thermal dynamics? Irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. I mean, I can't make the point over and over and over and over again. Why would the universe create diamonds? Who? could possibly care who has a logical brain. Anybody with a logical brain knows that's a stupid question to even ask. Who fucking cares? It's not illogical. The universe doesn't do illogic, Gary. It doesn't make shit. Well, I'm not, not going to argue you know with you. Of course you know it does. It knows. doesn't do logic, shithead. It has no knowledge base whatsoever. It cannot do logic, shithead. Alright? It's dumb fucking forces. It doesn't calculate. It doesn't construct. It doesn't compare scenarios. It doesn't compare outcomes. It didn't say, I think diamonds is a good idea. Well, I'll compare diamonds to not diamonds and see how that runs in my computer model. That's not what the universe did, okay? It just gave things properties. A big bang happened, mixed everything up, and it shot a load of crap on the wall. And so the way the fucking load of crap uh, slides down the wall doesn't really matter. We know it's just crap sliding down a wall. So you're saying we're not a part of the, the, the universe then? Switch a route. Wow, straw man much? No, I think I said we're crap on the wall is what I said. Yeah, but you're saying the universe doesn't do logic. Yeah, the universe created you, which creates logic. I, I, I'm, again, I'm not going to argue. I wasn't the product of a thought process. I wasn't uh, the product of a logical evaluation of scenarios and possibilities. I wasn't the product of any of that. I was a product of physical forces as crude as those that created diamonds. It's just as dumb, just as stupid, just as circumstantial, it's just a property of the universe that this kind of shit can happen with chemistry, and it doesn't have any, it doesn't mean anything. Just like the fact that stuff catches fire doesn't mean anything. The universe didn't say, I'm going to make fire in the universe. No, the universe didn't say that. The universe didn't say, I think fire's a cool idea. I'm going to make things catch fire. No, it's a chemical process. So, therefore, that chemical process is void of value, right? If you've given it a value, therefore, it has none to begin with. If it's irrelevant, well, it's well, dynamic, I'm just it's saying, it's not the it product. It's it not the product of an intentional, wise creation. How fucking explicit can I make this point? That's right. It's just shit coming out of an ass. It's not something thought about. It's not something brilliantly composed. It's just the product of a process. Well, I agree, but does it need to have a value? That's what I'm trying to explain. You're giving it value, right, by saying it's shit. I mean, that's a value. Well, well I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm giving it value based on um, the proof that sentience matters, okay? And that proof is one I've personally experienced. So you're not going to, there's no way to unravel that proof. I've had the, I have tasted it, therefore I know it, and you're not going to make any counter-argument saying sentience doesn't matter. I know for a fact, since I tasted it, it fucking matters.
Well, so why eradicate sentence then if it does matter? I mean, that's my entire point. It's well, I, I, I've, I've explained what the word matter means. And the, the point is, is matter means that it has value significance. Unfortunately, all the value is negative. Okay, the reason why we fight the gladiator war is for negative reasons, ego-based reasons, because we have ego deficits that force us, oblige us to beat the shit out of each other to gain some sort of, um, you know, ego points. And that's the game we're playing, all right? And it's not a good game, it's a bad, stupid, idiotic game. Yeah, but don't you think being aware of the game makes it somewhat more interesting in that respect? Oh, oh, interesting is not really relevant either, okay? Whether you are interested or entertained or, you know, have some excuse to speculate is really fucking irrelevant to the question of whether or not this experiment, this rat maze chasey bullshit experiment that's being conducted has any efficacy, okay? I mean, just because some scientists can come up with some idiotic experiment, like, let's make rats... Uh, okay, we won't feed them, and then we'll put cheese doodles on the other side of a wall of fire, and we'll make the rats jump through the fire to get the cheese doodles, just for the fun of it, because it'll be interesting to watch them catch on fire and squirm and scream. Uh, now, if I did that, you would rationally say, you know what, do you have a reason to do this? I mean, you're breeding rats and then forcing them to need shit and then obliging them to jump through fire and be tortured for what reason? That's what you would say. Why are you doing you that? You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't give me a buy and just say, go ahead, <clears throat> can you play your silly game. Go ahead, have fun. You wouldn't say that. I know you wouldn't. But it's not a game, though. I, I mean... The, the way I understand science and how, you know, we don't know as much as we'd like to think. Well, there, now you're that, resorting, that, you're that, resorting that, to that, the unknown that, now. So, that so that okay, you just, just that, that's an obfuscation. I've just made the point that like an experiment, that's all that life is. It's a biological experiment that's been conducted on planet Earth by a scientist with no brain. And you're saying we somehow can't judge the experiment. I'm saying the experiment is infinitely judgeable. It's obvious what's being conducted here. It's a replicating molecule out of control, nothing more. It's not accomplishing anything. It's not doing anything. It's not servicing anything. It's an idiotic, pointless, idiotic experiment. And if anything besides a dumb universe was doing it, you would say, what the fuck, asshole? I mean, if it was created by a god, you'd be saying, What are you thinking, god? Are you out of your fucking mind? What the fuck is that AIDS virus shit about? What the fuck is this brain tumor shit going on here for? What the fuck is cancer? No, but because the universe did it, the brainless universe, you just give it a buy. You're sitting there letting the brainless universe drive the bus, and you will not critique anything it does. Anything it does, you're okay with. And yet, if I put a perfectly qualified bus driver in that seat, and he did the same thing, you'd be hysterically saying, well, What the fuck, fatty? Don't you know how to fucking drive, you goddamn motherfucking moron? What the hell are you doing? I mean, this is idiotic, because it's a dumb force. You can't judge what it produces. I'm sorry. If it smells like shit, and it's piled up in my living room, I don't give a fuck what kind of magic ass it came out of. Just the thing though, you use the analogy of the magic bus driver. That's the whole problem. The universe doesn't have any emotion. No, oh, again, that's I'm that's no, 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 I'm not doing uh, this. No, I'm not doing this. A, a fucking goddamn grammar school kid could understand exactly what I was saying. What I was saying was, is this is a thing to be judged. It can be judged, and you're saying it's unjudgeable. You're claiming mystery forces, and you wouldn't claim those forces if this was any other scenario. If it was any other circumstance, you would make, you would ask the critical questions and say, what is the function? What is going to be accomplished? You demand an answer. You wouldn't let anybody get away with, I just feel like it. Well, that's why I'm asking, why do you add value to something that does not matter in the universe? Well,
I'm not going to, again, I've already prefaced the conversation. If you're going to say that torture doesn't matter, then you can just drop dead. Okay, I hope I hope the torture falls on you as soon as possible. I, I hope you get the worst possible case scenario. I hope there's an earthquake and you have to eat your own fucking leg off and then you have to, like, puke up your leg and eat it a second time um, and uh, whatever, you know, <laughs> then shove your, your puke your puke leg into your eyes to keep them moist. Ah, I'm not saying it's it's um that one. Sorry. I'm not saying that, that you're not making any fucking sense. Like I said, I mean, you're just talking shit. I mean, the premises I made were obvious. The value equation I've stated is obvious. So this is all bullshit. Gary, if you were living in hell. Would you try to make hell a little bit better, or would you just kill yourself? If you could. <laughs> Yo, if I could kill myself in hell, I think that would be a, a pretty super thing to do, right? Oh, yeah, I'm eternally on fire. Maybe I'll kill myself and not be eternally on fire. Right. Oh, great idea. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll do that. Satan, uh, yeah, Mr. Satan, uh, yeah, like one of those suicide kits, please. Thank you. Yeah, like to go. I, I would like to die and go to heaven. Yep, thank you. No, just, just say a place like hell, would you try to make the best of it, or would you just try to end it all? Every, how, who, it how, all? how is anything I'm talking about have anything to do with whether or not you should make the best? Yes, I think everybody should make the best of everything. That's right. What they shouldn't do, though, is lie about the truth, okay, and fuck the future. So if making the best of things means you're going to fuck the future... Well, yes, no, that's not right, okay? If you're going to fuck the future to make the best of things, yes, that's a baddie. What if enough people uh, interrupted the fucking of things and, like, you know, you just turn people's minds on to uh, a better way of thinking, I guess? Yeah, whatever. La di da di da di da di. Buddhist, Buddhist bullshit, bullshit. Yeah, let's let's eliminate our problem by forgetting there is a problem. Yeah, cool, great strategy. <laughs> yeah, that solves the problem. I mean, fuck that. Let's ignore it. Oh, cool. Yeah, great. Right, I love that solution. The old ignore it solution. So, would you agree then? You're applying value to the situation here. Ah, uh, duh, shithead. I, I mean, how, where, where in my conversation was there a lack of use of the word value and value equation? And I've made every, I made every effort to make it understood that uh, sentient creatures create value. Value does not exist. Nothing in the universe, could, nothing is possible to have any value in the entire universe if it doesn't affect a feeling thing. If it can't if there is nothing to be harmed in the universe, nothing could have value. It would be impossible to generate such a thing as value if nothing could be harmed, if nothing could be put into a lesser state of being, then there is no possibility of there existing such a thing as good or bad. But since there is the possibility, that means you are giving value to something, right? I mean, that's my entire premise. You, you know, you call me. I'm not answer, giving right? value to anything. That's just crap. I've just said the sentience create value. It comes out of them being conscious, them being harmable. I don't give them value. They create value. Anything that feels uh, in this universe creates value. Yeah, but you just you just said we are compatible to diamonds, which is just a function of the universe, right? So we give diamonds a value, even though diamonds aren't worth shit. So we are just like diamonds, but you are the one giving us value. So why would you value us? Well, again, value I, again, again I'm not going to argue a stupid, stupid premise, okay? The, or, the origin of our function is as crude as the origin of the function of diamonds. I've made it clear that we are distinctly different than a diamond in that our function creates sentience, which creates value. Diamonds do not create sentience, therefore they do not create value. 
This is not complicated. But not all life creates sentience, yet you want to destroy all life. That's my, oh, that's my again, point, that's my well, balance. Again, my again it's a, it's evolved from a single DNA molecule. The DNA molecule is the origin of the problem. It is the creator of the phenomenon. There is no diamond generation. Now, let's say these are black diamonds, negative diamonds.